Hey everyone, it's Sam with Just Grilling Outdoor Living. Today, we're going to be cooking up one of my personal favorites, filet mignon, on the Weber Smoke Fire Pellet Grill. We've all pretty much been asked at some point in our lives, if you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? I couldn't eat just one thing, but filet is gonna be about as close to that as anything out there. But enough about me, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is set my temperature on the smoke fire. I wanna grill these filets at medium to high heat. I'm gonna set the grill for 450 degrees. This grill has searing capabilities by being able to get up to 600 degrees, but I'm not doing that today. I'll save the searing for another video. I'm just taking a simple and quick approach. I'm using hickory pellets. Hickory is the most common and gives off a bacony flavor. You can use oak, pecan, or mesquite. I'm just keeping it simple. While the grill heats up, let's get our meat ready. It doesn't always work out that way, but I prefer to let the meat sit out for at least 15 minutes before putting it on the grill. So depending on how you shop, there might be some prep work involved. When I'm at the butcher counter, I'll buy a full tenderloin and have the butcher cut it and trim it for me so you can see all I'm going to have to do here today is season this. For seasoning, you can be simple with just salt or pepper. I really like this Jacobson steak seasoning. It's salt, pepper, garlic, and herbs that give a nice balanced flavor. I'm going to pat the fillets dry first and then sprinkle this seasoning on both sides. It didn't take long for our grill at all to get to 450 degrees, so let's go ahead and get these fillets on there. You'll notice I dragged the fillets back and forth across the grates, and I didn't coat them with any oils or sprays. The reason I did this is it's a trick I actually picked up from Michelin star chef. Dragging the fillets back and forth actually helps create a non-stick barrier. I know it sounds weird, but it's from a Michelin star chef. Trust me, it works. I like my steak on the medium to medium rare side. So I'm going to be looking to pull these anywhere from 125 to 130 degrees. Ideally, I'm looking for a 135 internal temperature. You don't have to flip this many times, but I prefer to flip roughly every two minutes. I like to know that I'm getting an even finish on both sides. The amount of times you flip doesn't affect the taste. I'm reading an internal temperature of 130 degrees, so it's time to pull these fillets. Wrapping these fillets in foil is going to help them cook a little bit more. Before I seal this off, I'm going to add a generous portion of butter on top. Adding the butter is purely optional. I do it because the flavor it helps create is just unreal. Now I'm going to wrap these off and give them five minutes to rest. It's been five minutes. When I open this up, I'm expecting to see a juicy buttery filet with some good au jus to pour back on top once I plate these. Time to cut into this to show the doneness. And now for the best part. Mm. It's juicy, it's tender, buttery, it's cooked perfectly. That's filet mignon on the Weber Smokefire Pellet Grill. We hope you like this recipe. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more recipes like this. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at the store soon.